All right, today I want to show you how to propagate ferns from one we just bought at Home Depot. These are very expensive. This is Sun Queen, Emerald Queen Fern, $8.98. All right, now all the ferns, when they grow in a pot, they send out these rhizomes underground and they'll, they'll actually produce another fern when they come up. When they come up, they'll come out like this. See that fern right there? We're gonna cut that fern out. It won't hurt the big fern. And there's a couple more that's still too small to get, but when you see them like this, you can cut them out and make a whole new fern. And uh, you get a pot that's fairly large so it won't dry out. You put some wet potting mix in there. This is miracle, miracle Grow or the Virgo is really good soil. You take a real sharp knife, this is very sharp. You just go in and Cut this crown, cut this crown out, okay, and you tear it off, it don't hurt the other fern. Now this is a whole brand new plant right here. Alright, you see you didn't cut the crown, you just cut it off just like that. See it's got all the new babies. Now these have come up in the pot and make more just like this one did. I say you gotta have moist dirt. You don't want to put put wet in there because it's like sticking your tongue to a dried popsicle stick. That's what roots do. They got so many fine hairs on them. All right, you just put it in there. Put some more dirt in. Okay, a lot of people pack that dirt in. You don't pack it in. You just drop it once. That's all you do because peat moss swells up when you get it wet. Okay. A little extra because it will sink some. And that's it. And that'll grow into a new fern. Don't worry about the dirt there. The water will go down. And uh, thanks for watching.